welcome back to Agro Herb University. I'm Jessie. First, I'd like to touch on water quality. Initially, when you start to grow, you may not concern yourself with this, but as you start to progress, you'll really want to. TDS, or total dissolved solids, is measured in parts per million, and it's basically how much stuff is already in the water. You don't want to start with water that has too much in it because when you add nutrients to it, it really makes it so the marijuana can't soak up the nutrients as well. I actually use this one right here, and it's a HANA tool, and it's very, very simple. All you have to do is put it in the water, up to that line, and press the button. The next thing you want to check in your water is the pH, and that basically measures how acidic or base the water is. Marijuana prefers 5.8 to 6.2. So check the pH frequently so that the water doesn't spike and stress the plant out. So you'll need pH up and pH down. And you'll also need a meter to check these. I decided to spring for the waterproof meter because I know I'll be dropping it in the water. Make sure you're patient so you get a good reading and you don't take it out too fast before it actually gets a chance to settle. So this water here is at about 7.3. So like I said, marijuana needs 5.8 to 6.2. So we need to lower this. So you're gonna take the pH down solution. Make sure you're not mixing solutions and contaminating them. Use separate droppers for solutions and always use clean cups and rinse them before you pour anything new into them. So we'll go ahead and check again. Okay, and we only lowered to 6.6, .6, so we actually need to lower it more. So now we have it at 6.0. The manufacturer recommends that you wear protective eyewear while you use pH up or down. So make sure you are cautious when you use those. Try not to adjust the pH that the plants are using too drastically because it'll shock them and it makes them not grow as fast as they should. Here at the iGrow Herb University lab, we actually use filtered water so we can get the maximum potential out of the nutrients that we add to the water. So the next thing we're going to talk about is nutrients. TDS and pH requirements are so that marijuana can use all the nutrients possible in the water. So it's important to keep up with those so the plant grows at optimal capacity. When using nutrients, make sure not to use over the recommended amount if you're not checking the TDS of the water. And always start at the lowest amount and move up from there and see how your plants actually adjust to it. After you get your water all squared away with the correct pH and nutrient levels, you'll want to water it about 15 minutes every five hours, depending on what medium you use. We use the clay pebbles, so that's what we do here. I hope this video helped you learn a little bit about working with water in your lab. Being able to manipulate the water in your lab will help you have a successful grow. Until next time, I'm Jessie.